What's happening guys? Welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to the channel. So I had a couple of people ask how much I've spent on my F30 and so I figured I'd make a video about it. So this is my 2013 F30 328i Sportline. I bought this car about four years ago and I paid $24,000 for the car. It had about 23,000 miles on it when I purchased it. And if you saw my other video about the modifications I've done and what I've spent on it, well, I spent 7,000 so far. So that's $31,000 in total. So for 31,000, you definitely could have gotten this car in M Sport. However, I do have a lot of things done to it, so. There's a lot of other stuff that's added on to this car that you couldn't have gotten for $31,000, especially with that low of mileage. I actually wanted to make this video because I'm really curious about what other people have spent on their F30s. For 24 k four years ago for a 2013, I think I got a pretty good deal. But really when it comes down to it, the biggest modification that took up the most money was the M Sport kit. I did see some comments from some people saying, well, why are you modifying a 328i? It's never gonna be fast like a 335i. That really wasn't the goal when I bought the car, and it just so happened that I started modifying it. And honestly, it doesn't have to be the fastest car. I just enjoy the car. It's always interesting to me because people get so wrapped up in their own versions of what a car is worth when it comes to modding. For me personally, I've absolutely loved the process of modifying my 328. It was never really about making it the fastest car. And honestly, if I wanted the fastest car, I probably wouldn't have bought a 328i. So I keep getting these comments about people who have 335i's and they just bash all the 328's and they're like, oh, it's not a 335, it's not worth it. But I mean, people get so wrapped up in their own version of what is worth modifying and what isn't worth modifying. And obviously my build is different than your build. Some people, when it comes to modifying their car, their intention isn't to make it the fastest car in the world. When it comes to modifying your car, really that's an individual experience. And I think people get too wrapped up into What's right for them should be right for everybody else. And really that's the whole point of personalizing your own vehicle. I absolutely love driving this car. I love modifying it and I love the way that it looks. I think it turned out really well for what it is. So I kind of just wanted to make this video because I think it's important for people to understand that even though your idea of what a perfectly modified car may be, it's probably not the same as mine. One of the other factors is when I first bought this car for 24,000, I didn't have the budget to buy a 335. A 335 would have been a bit more expensive for me at that time. So ultimately, this is what I ended up with, but I'm really, really happy with the purchase so far. And to be totally honest, I have no problem working on my car, putting time and effort into it and modifying it because it's my project. And I just really enjoy that creative process when it comes to building your own vehicle. So when I first bought the car, it had about 23,000 miles on it. Now, about four years later, it has 63,000 miles on it. So that's not too bad for four years. So when it comes down to how many miles I've actually put on the car, 10,000 miles per year is actually quite low, especially considering this is my daily driver. And I know people that have put upwards of 20,000 miles on their car per year, which is crazy. So yeah, those are the numbers, you guys. It's a 2013 BMW F30 Sportline. I bought it with 23,000 miles on it and I paid 24K. Let me know what you guys think. Did I overpay? Did I get a deal? I don't know. You guys tell me. I'm looking forward to reading some of your comments. As always, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please do subscribe, comment down below, hit that like button, smash that bell notification and I will see you in the next one. I think a fall angel just walked by. I think a fall angel just walked by. Oh. Yeah, cause it's ain't from my soul.